Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I would like to share how to make a drop down list using Excel. I found this very this I found this is very useful for my research. I just found out how to make it and it really helped me a lot. So I would like to share it with you and it is also as a reminder for me, this is also important for me to pick up the way how I do it so that in the future, when I need to do this again, I will not forget. I will just need to open this video recording. Okay, let's start. Uh, I will share my screen with you. Actually, I need this because I need to work on to code thousands, ten thousands, more than ten thousands of images. And it's really useful when I use this drop down list because I just need to pick the options that is offered. So it will minimize error, of course. This is what I have made. So when we already successful to make this drop down list, then we can just click and choose category that uh, that we need, and it it useful especially when the category that you want to choose is really a lot. For example, uh, in here for device, I have. What well, a lot of options. Well, in content type, a lot more. You can see from here. And if we need to type, if we need to type it one by one anytime we need to input or we need to enter the data, it's really time consuming. I have tried to use another to do this. Uh, image coding but it's just not feasible anymore because in an hour maybe i can code only an hour in, in a, uh, sorry i mean in an hour maybe i can code only about 50 60 sometimes i can code 200 images but it really takes time but by using this i believe that i can do the data coding faster so let's start how to make the drop down list. First of all, I would like to make the call, the heading of the column first. For example, in here I have from A to R. I will show you how to make some of them. For example, we want to make a drop down list for this column uncodable. What we need to do is firstly, we need to make a certain list of options in another sheet like this. In a separate list, I have made a list of code list of options for example for uncodable column the drop down list will be blurry poor lighting and block while in main behavior it will be screen based sedentary behavior non screen based and sedentary behavior and physical activity while in activity for example we have self care physical activity reading etc there are many lists in here and you can imagine how I feel when I need to type it one by one especially for long option like this 
So by using this drop down list, it's really helpful. Okay, we have, we already have the list of the options. Now we need, uh, before we make a drop down list, we need to make a block name. And how to do that? Uh, firstly, for this first example, uh, for uncodable in column A, you just need to block the, all the content from A4 to A6 and then click formulas, click define name, and then you can type uh, the name that you prefer. I have made the column name for this one. I don't want to make, I, I don't want to repeat it again. So let's just copy this one and then start from the beginning. And I already finished to make all of this in sheet one and sheet two. But I want to show you how to do it from the beginning. Okay, we have copy the file. So you just need to block this and then click formula and then click define name and then make the name. I want to make the name uncodable, just like the name of the column. And you need to you need to consider uh, you cannot enter number in front of this like one zero until nine you cannot do that and you cannot use space as well like encodable data no if but you can do like this so I, I will choose to use only encodable then just click OK. Oh, uh, this name already exists because I have used that in previous uh, exercise. So I need to change, uh, maybe just uncodable one. Let's save. And then in here we can see the list of the block name or name name of the column that we have made. Do the same thing for other column. For example, for main behavior, just different name, and then make the name here. And then do the same thing with the other one. Just practice with all columns. You may already have data. You can try by your own. I need to change that. Okay, because I have used that before. Device. Attention one, okay. The last one, the first, the one. Okay, I think it's enough. We already have four, uh, I mean five. Then go back to the seat three. Okay, now we would like to make drop down this for uncodable. Let's block all the column and then click data. Click data, click data validation. Mm 
let's see wait a minute i i would like to see what happened here oh oh i have tried to make this one before so we will start from the beginning okay for the, the after clicking data validation there are some options here and click this after that click source like this and then click this one and then go to the name list of options that you have made in here i will go to sheet 4 and then just block all sheet that you uh, need like this all the column or row that you need like this you can see we have made we have uh, made name for this specific data as uncodable one and when you block this then uh, in data validation that pop that popping up uh, that pop up you can see that it's equal uncodable one it means that you have entered the correct the correct one just click enter and then it will pop up uh, and then click OK. Another option is you do not need to you do not need to block uh, the specific data, but just type the the block name, the name of the column that you have made before, if you remember it. But what I did is this block uh, a certain data that I choose. Just click OK. And then you can see here, you just need to click any data that you want. ECPC. You do not need to type one by one. Just do this. Maybe take quite tight, quite take some time, but after that, you will make your life much more easier. Let's try the other one. Main behavior. Main behavior, let make data validation click data data validation Just say yes list make list and then uh, choose from the seat for when we have here we have this one Uh, I have tried before. Uh, previously, I used the the main and behavior, and to this time I just delete this one and then equal main behavior. Click OK and then OK. And then in here you will see what you need. Let's try with the device one. Click data validation and then click list and then go to the seat form because we need to fill it with device then just block all of this. You will see uh, this is equal with device one. Just click enter, click OK. And this is what you can see. You just need to choose from this range of options. Okay. I think that's all uh, that I need to explain, that I need to say in this sharing session. But how to make a drop down list in Excel. You can use it in the future when you need to maybe analyze your research using drop down list, when you need to input many data rather than typing, for example, 
men, women, child, adolescents, etc. One by one, I found I found it very useful to just this uh, drop down list. It seems uh, to uh, take some time to make the template, but after that you can copy that and use in all data that you have. Okay, thank you so much for you attention in this setting session. See you again in the next setting session. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.